Hey, Mr. Steel coming at you. So good to see you guys, and I'm very, very excited about this next activity, this next art project that we're going to do because we are celebrating uh, one of my favorite people, Sophia. Uh, as many of you know, we celebrate a very special birthday of Sophia's uh, every April the 3rd. And we usually do that uh, by wearing our shirts or uh, coming out with some uh, purple or orange and, and celebrating Sophia. So we're going to need to do that from our um, homes. And I thought a great way to do that would be through sharing art together. So if you want to take a look, we are going to be doing an art project uh, that features one of Sophia's favorite uh, characters, and that is uh, Mermaid. So um, what I recommend as far as medium goes or media for this project, if you have it, and I know supplies can be a little limited these days, I had some dark paper. Uh, so it really any dark paper would be a good paper and pastels if you have them do not worry if you don't i'm going to do a simple line drawing with you and that will be perfect but i think you can see that we're doing a a night sky with this mermaid and her friend uh looking looking up at a castle and uh, i just think the contrast is great on um dark paper with chalk color pencil next best, but hey, it is your space as always, your selection of media, anything that you want to do will be just fine. And I've got my paper here uh, ready to go. As you can see, I already have a mark on it. Do we let uh, little things like that stop us? No way. Uh, it, I know that will turn into a happy, accident no mistakes here right so let's get started with our mermaid remember uh, sometimes I really jet ahead you know I'm trying to keep the videos as short as possible and still give you some good drawing instruction to turn you loose with your own creation so anytime you need to pause you just do it so if this is the middle of our paper we go down and over just a little and that will be a great place to start our mermaid's head. And we started just like we're making a heart. How perfect is that? Because our hearts are what we are drawing with today. And so it looks like we're drawing a heart. And then all of a sudden, instead of going down into a point, we're going to put Santa's beard on there. What a combination, right? but it kind of works. So you just keep coming down like you're drawing a beard and there you have it, our mermaid's uh, hair. And now right where the hair turns in and starts going out is where we're gonna put our arms. So that line just kind of comes out to make the shoulders and it comes back up again as we're nearing the elbows. And then right when we get to the elbows, we pull it back in, just like that. And then we're gonna make her tail heading into the water. Now we will have a ripple or two, even though she's pretty still there. And we'll make a rock. And the water will be breaking around that too. Okay, and then of course she would not be alone sharing this beautiful night sky. She's with her friend here. And we're gonna, looks like a football, I thought, kind of going in, maybe a slightly flat football going into the water. But then we put the fins on there and you can see our little fish friend here as they are looking up, enjoying their best day 
ever enjoying this beautiful night looking up at the castle. Uh, you know, mermaids love to do that. So we're going to try to draw the, the um, water line straight across. And you guys that have been drawing with me, especially on the whiteboard, you know I go downhill almost every time. So perhaps I did again, maybe not. I think I'm pretty close. Uh, and then we can put some like little waves, not waves in the water, but just where the water's gently coming in, the evening tide there. And we'll draw the hill sloping up to our castle. And now we're gonna go up for the walls of the castle and we're just gonna make two little, these look like we're drawing happy little pine trees. Wouldn't Bob Ross be happy with us? There we go, you see that? And then we're gonna come back down, okay? And then if you want to, right in the middle, you can put, it looks like just a block U, right? Uh, but that's going to be the inner walls of our two towers here. Now it looks like we're drawing goal posts. Look at that. It's good. Okay. And now there's a couple different ways you can make these. They're called crenellations. You can just if you're an expert castle maker, you can just crank them in and out like that. If maybe you need a little extra, you're not up on your crenellation drawing, just draw three more of those little U's like we did there and put a lid on them. Look at that. And there you have it. Let's give a couple banners flying in the night sky. Now, I have somewhere, oh, and I'm not sure where. I have a baby food jar lid that makes a great uh, moon, and Mrs. Steele's helping me out here. Thank you. She's my producer, filmer, and baby jar lid hander outer. How nice is that? And we have a nice circle if you like to make your moon. Now, I can't resist. You guys know what a Van Gogh fan I am. So I'm going to go ahead and make that Van Gogh moon and some rings around it. There you go. Of course, you're remembering that I might be going in supersonic speed and you want to slow it down. You can do that. All you have to do is push pause. And I think this is just a great time just to celebrate Sophia with her twin brother Finn and Nico and family and how great it would be if we could kind of share all our uh, Sophia pictures that we draw. You certainly do not need to make your mermaid uh, looking up at a night sky. You draw them however you want to, however you're comfortable doing it. I would just love to see you share those uh, with uh, the Long Branch family and thank you for drawing with me. And we uh, wish you a very special, happy, heartfelt, artful April 3rd.